In this video, I will show you the best face swap tool, also known as deep faking. It allows you to change the face in a video or an image, and the best part is that it's completely free and easy to install. I will demonstrate how to set up this fantastic tool, and you'll see how fun and easy it is to use. And I am Iron Man. Installing and using it is really simple, but you must follow all the steps that I show you. I did a lot of research to create the best video, so you can start deep faking in no time. Let's get started. First, you'll need Visual Studio. A link to the download page will be in the description. Scroll down the page and select the community version. The download will start automatically. Open the installer file that we just downloaded. While going through the installation process, make sure to select Desktop Development with C++ and Game Development with C++. Otherwise, it's not going to work. After installing Visual Studio, you'll want to restart your computer to complete the install. Go to this GitHub page, but don't worry. It has a one-click installer, so you won't need to mess around with command lines and terminals. Click on the green code button, and from the drop-down menu, click Download Zip. Navigate to the downloaded file, extract it, and make sure that the folder it's in does not contain any spaces in the name. I will show you how to install it on Windows. If you are a Mac user, I'll leave the installation steps for Mac in the description. It's really simple, so don't worry. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Navigate inside the folder into Installer. In there, look for the Windows Run.bat and click on it. It will automatically download all the different files we need to run it. Setting this up takes a bit of time, so feel free to take a break while it installs. Once it's done, Roop will pop up in your default browser automatically. If you want to open it again in the future, just click the same file called Windows Run.bat. Don't worry, it won't reinstall everything. Every time you open it, you will be questioned if you want to check for updates. Answer with Y for yes or N for no, and press Enter. Inside Roop Unleashed, you're greeted with a bunch of different options and features. But first, we need to check if the processing is set to CPU or GPU. Now navigate to Settings, and under Provider, select CUDA. If you've got an NVIDIA GPU, select CPU if your computer doesn't have a dedicated graphics card at all. If you've got an AMD GPU, I recommend you read the documentation, which is linked in the video description. Then, click on Apply Settings and Restart Server. Now back to the Face Swap tab. All right, let's look into the two important boxes in the Roop Unleashed program. First, there's a box labeled Source Files. Think of this as the Face Box. This is where you'll put the photo of the face you want to use in your deepfake. Just drag and drop the image right into this box. Then we have the Target File Box. This one's for your video. You'll put the video you want to deepfake into this box. But wait, scroll down, and under Post Processing, I like to use GFP GAN. However, use whatever post process you want. Now click Start, and let the magic begin. How long the processing takes depends on the video's resolution and length. Before continuing, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and allows me to create more content like this. Let's watch the video. Now I will show you how to deep fake a specific face when there are multiple faces in the video. First, Upload your video to the target files. Then, click on Use Face from this frame. In the box below, there will be multiple faces. Select the one that you want to change, and then click on Use Selected Face. Next, review the faces at the top to ensure that you only keep the ones you need. Try to just keep one, then click on Done. Now, in the source files, drop the face you want to use in your deepfake and remove unwanted faces from the top box by clicking Remove Selected. At this point, you must have only one face in each of the top boxes. Make sure that you have GFP GAN post processing and then click on Start. The process will take a few seconds. Remember, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to download your video. Roop Unleashed can also deepfake images. To face swap an image, it's super simple. Just drag and drop your image into the target box. 
Yes, it's the same process as with a video, but this time using an image. Then in the source files, drop the face you want to use in your deep fake. Clean any unwanted faces from the top box so you only keep one. Don't forget the post-processing and then hit start. That's all there is to it. Processing from image to image normally only takes a few seconds. Now, if you want to improve the quality of your deepfakes, you should create a face set. To do this, go to the face management tab. In the input files box, drop all the face images of the person you want to deepfake. Wait for the images to load, then review them to verify that they all look good, and then create the face set file. Next, click on open output folder and change the tab to face swap. Drop the newly created set into the source files and the video into target files. Select which face you want to change and use the GFP GAN post process and then click start. And that's it. It allows you to create a video with better quality. Remember, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Okay, let's take a minute to talk about something super important. The ethics of using deepfake technology. It's cool stuff, but it's also powerful, so we've got to use it responsibly. There's a line between fun and misuse. Creating funny videos? That's cool. But using deepfakes to trick or harm others? That's not cool. If you want to know other ways of face swapping, I recommend you watch this video. It goes into detail and enables some more advanced face swapping functionalities for images. If you enjoy content like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Your support means a lot. Thank you for watching.